Rebecca is away this week, visiting her parents in Duluth, Minnesota. So, I'm gonna try, before she gets back, to shoot an entire musical Ask the Mead Maker episode. Here we go. Oh, there once was a mead. Ask the Mead Maker, where I, Ricky the Mead Maker, answer your questions about mead making, mead drinking, mead brewing, and pretty much any question you're willing to send to me. Rebecca got back during the opening montage, so this is not going to be an all musical Ask the Mead Maker. Our first question this week comes from Tom, a home brewer who wanted to know what our biggest surprise purchase was when opening a commercial meadery. And I would say, without a doubt, the forklift. I love my forklift. Here is a picture of my forklift. But boy, was it a doozy. On the subject of home brewers asking questions about switching from being a home brewer to being commercial, CJ wanted to know what the hardest part of going from a home brewer to commercial producer was. And I have to say, when you're a home brewer, if someone really likes your mead, you just feel awesome. And if they don't like it, eh, you can kind of brush it off. But once you go commercial, if someone writes a bad review of one of your products, it just ruins your month. And if someone loves it, you go, huh, I know, right? Last Saturday, we wrote an article on the website about the upcoming construction projects here at Grunfell Meadery since we're now sharing our space with Havoc. We had a photo of two of our adorable helpers, and one of these adorable helpers is now a self-proclaimed inventor and he wanted to know what my favorite contraption at the meadery is. It's hard to pick. We have a lot of janky contraptions here, but my favorite is probably the labeling machine. In past episodes and articles, we've talked about reusing yeast, and Chris H. wanted to know what that entails. And I wish I could say that we have some sort of fancy yeast washing, or yeast striping, cell counting protocol here like the big breweries do. But the answer is, we use a hose to collect the yeast off the bottom of the tank, we collect it in buckets, and when it stops looking good, we stop collecting it, then we pour those buckets into the next batch. Our last question this week comes from Will L, who wanted to know if we have any plans for competing with the beverage giant across the street. Now, the beverage giant across the street is Coca-Cola, literally right out the window from where I'm shooting. And I'm going to tell you, Will, A, nobody really competes with Coke. B, I don't compete with anybody, not even other mead makers. Why would I compete with Coca-Cola? So, with that, I'm going to send it over to Ricky with our word of the week. Ricky? Thank you, Ricky, and I notice you haven't mentioned anything about my bold smoking jacket flannel shirt ensemble. This week's word is caprylic. Caprylic is a term used to describe goat-like aromas and flavors in some foods, including honey, but not in my honey. Caprylic, it's our word of the week and the end of our show. Keep sending your questions and I will get to them as soon as possible. Cheers.